Hello, today we are doing mission two, looking at finding the surface area of a cylinder. So what is surface area? Well, it's the area of the surface. So if here's our cylinder, and we were to unfold it, or unwrap it, kind of like if you ever had like a roll of um, crescent, uh, crescent rolls where you wrap the outside off, this is what, your, what, what was that paper part on the outside, like the surface area. We call it, when it's all flattened out, we call it a net. So this would be our surface area flattened out of our cylinder. So if this was like a metal can, this would be how much metal was used to make the can. So we do have a formula that will help us find the surface area. SA is surface area. And what your formula sheet will say is it's going to say SA equals 2 times B plus P times H. Now, that doesn't help us a whole lot, so I've kind of expanded on that formula. Where it says B, we kind of talked about this a little bit when we did volume. Volume, we use our area of our base. So B is still the area of the base, which is our circle. Since our cylinder has the exact same circle here and here, that's why we're multiplying it by 2, because there's two circles. So area of the base times 2, because there's two circles. Then, to find the area of this piece here, we are finding the perimeter times the height. So P is the perimeter, but since we're dealing with a circle, it's really we call the circumference. So the circumference of the circle is this formula right here. Pi times the diameter. That will give us the circumference of the circle. Okay, so this formula, 2 times the area of the base, plus the circumference times the height, because the circumference is this length right here, the area really that would go around the circle if we were to roll it back up, times the height. So that's why we want circumference times height. That'll give us the area of that rectangle. So let's take a look at this with a problem. Here, our radius is 1 inch. I know it's our radius because it only goes to the middle and our height is 4. So to find our surface area, we have two bases. This is our base, remember? Our base is a circle. So 2 times pi times our radius, which is 1 squared. Plus, over here we have pi times our diameter. Oh, we don't know our diameter. We know our radius is 1, so our diameter must be Two, if we were to go all the way across the top, pi times 2 times our height, which is 4. So I would plug this in separately, this part first, and then this part, and then we're going to end up adding our two answers together. The reason we do that is because of the order of operations. Uh, parentheses, exponents, and then multiply and divide. So we're doing all the multiplication and division first, then we will add. So in my calculator, I have 2 times pi times 1 to the power of 2, or 1 to the power of 2 is really 1 times 1, it's 1, 2 times, 1 times 1 is just 1, times 2, and times 3.14 gives me 6.28. I'm using 3.14 for pi. If you want to use your pi button, that is just fine. And then on this side, we have pi, again, which is 3.14, times 2, times 4. And it gives us 25.12. So the surface area of this can, we add those two together, we get 31.4. And we're talking about inches. And we're talking about inches squared, not cubed, because we're not talking about the volume. We only want two dimensions, because this is really flat. It's not three-dimensional. It is if we were to fold it up, 
but we don't want that. We're looking at the net version. So let's flip to the back side. It says approximately how much aluminum is needed to make a can, make a pop can. So we are really finding the surface area, everything on the edge. So our formula, surface area, equals 2 times base, because there's two circles, really, to make up our can. And the area of our base is the circle pi times radius squared. And our radius is 3, because it goes to the middle. So 3 squared plus pi times the diameter. If our radius is 3, our diameter is all the way across, which would be double, 6, times our height, which is 12. The only reason I have this in parentheses is because that's the area of the base, and this is really the circumference. Uh, you don't need those because it's all really just multiplication. So I'm going to multiply this part first, and then this part, and we're going to add them together. So 3 squared, you can use the power of 2 button in your calculator, or 3 squared is 3 times 3. Again, I'm using 3.14 for pi. I get 56.52. And on the other side, 3.14 for pi times 6 times 12. And I get 226.08. So if you think about this, what does this really mean? This is the area of our two bases. And this is the area of the round part on the outside. So we're finding the area all together. We'll add those up. And we get our surface area of 678.24. And we're talking about centimeters. Centimeters squared because it's flat. If we were to lay all this metal flat, that's how many square centimeters we would need. Last two questions. Find the surface area of the cylinder. Again, use 3.14 for pi. They don't give us a formula here, but we can write it. Our surface area, if you think about it, we have two bases or two circles, and the area of a circle is pi times radius squared plus the area of the piece that would go around the edge here. And in that, we're doing the perimeter of the circle, which is the circumference pi times diameter, times our height, which is 11. Oops, I'll just put h for height for now. Because now I'm going to plug in everything. 2 times pi times our radius. Oh, we have a, a diameter of 11. The reason I know it's a diameter because it goes all the way across. So if our diameter is 11, half of that, our radius would be 5.5 plus pi times diameter, which is 11, times height, which is also 11, lots of 11s. So I'm going to type in this side first. We have 5.5 squared and times 2 and times pi. I get 189.97. I'm just going to double check that. Yep. And we need to add the other side. We have pi, which is 3.14, times 11, times 11. And we get 379.94. So we do need to add those two together for our final answer. What was this number? 97. So our total surface area of this cylinder is 569.91. And we're talking about M, which is really meters, meters squared, because surface area is flat. If we were to unfold this and lay it flat, that would be how much materials we would need to make it. Last one, I would like you to try this on your own and then click play to see if you got it right. Just to remember that this is actually our radius because it goes to the middle. So if we need a diameter, our diameter would be double, which is 6. 
So I'm going to write out our formula. 2 times the base, and our base is a circle, pi r squared, plus this piece that would go around the edge, which is the circumference times the height, and our circumference is pi times diameter times the height. So plugging in what we know, 2 times pi times, oh, r is our radius, 3, 3 squared. Again, pi times, oh, diameter down here is 6 times our height, which is 8. Again, plug it in in two pieces, because we're following our order of operations. If you don't have a calculator like we do in class, remember order of operations, we need to do our exponent first. That's why it's 3 times 3. 3, 2 times is 9, times pi, and times 2. And we get 56.52. Plus, and then we have pi, 3.14, times 6, times 8, 150.72. If you notice for all of these questions, this, this portion on the right is always a bigger number because the material needed to go around the edge is usually more than the area of the base is. Won't always be like that, but most of the time. So when we add them up, we get 207 and 24 hundredths. And we're talking about centimeters, we have centimeters squared. All right, you have a few questions on your homework where you are finding the surface area. Um, I believe I changed it on your worksheet, but it says 2 pi r here, um, which is the same as pi times the diameter, because 2 radiuses is a diameter. But otherwise, do exactly as we did on our notes, and it should make perfect sense.